Today I'd like to demonstrate how we can specify third-party libraries and other global variables as dependencies in our controllers and services. So if we want to use jQuery or underscore or any other library in our controllers or services, we can do so by just accessing these global variables. As our controllers or services grow in size, it doesn't really become very explicit that these components in our Angular application depend on these libraries. Wouldn't it be nice if we could specify these third-party libraries as dependencies within our controllers and services, just like we do with other Angular services? To set up jQuery or any other global variable as a service that can be injected into our controller or custom services, we can use a function called value on our Angular module. So the first argument is the name of the service that we want to inject. So in this case, I just want this to be called dollar sign because we're going to be using it just like jQuery. And what's the value of this? It's going to be actually jQuery. So we could say dollar sign or we can just write jQuery. Either would work because jQuery or dollar sign, they're aliases. If we wanted to be able to inject config into our services or controllers, we could do the same thing. I can call it config and the value will be our global config variable. Now within my API service definition, I can explicitly inject jQuery and config as dependencies. This makes it very clear that this service depends on jQuery and config. So again, this isn't required. You can use global variables freely within controllers and services. However, if you'd like to make your code more maintainable and you'd like to explicitly define what these services and controllers need by having them pass as dependencies, then you can do so by using the value method on your Angular modules.